Well, today, everybody, in this video, we're going to be sitting down and checking out Schecter's brand new guitars here in 2024. Schecter Guitars is always a company that I love to talk about because they cater towards the genre of music that I personally like to create, that is hard rock and metal, and they always have great products for us to check out and potentially buy, right? However, it feels as though they're kind of scaling back here in 2024, and they're not releasing as many guitars. That just seems to be the general consensus across the entire guitar industry, with the exception of ESP guitars. It seems as though most companies nowadays are doing things in terms of quality rather than quantity. And here in the beginning of 2024, we have only, to the best of my knowledge, only signature guitars from Schecter, which isn't a bad thing, but interesting nonetheless. So before we start talking about it, be sure to follow me on Spotify if you wanna hear some of my cool riffs that I create on a daily basis. Be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel that you're watching right now. I got you, it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe and I'd like to think you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for sticking around. And with that being said, let's check out the new signature guitars from Schecter. So up on your screen right now, boom, we have 12 new products to check out from Schecter guitars. And honestly, everybody, a pretty small run, like I'm kind of alluding to. We have a lot of different variations of the same guitar, but I'm really excited to talk about a few of these. Up first, we have the Aaron Marshall AM6 in this beautiful satin royal blue, and it is absolutely gorgeous, man. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of blue guitars, but this is kind of an exception. Royal blue, it's always a win. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering what's going on with that Aaron Marshall guitar that I had here on my channel about a week, give or take, at the time of this filming. I had to send it back. It's going back to Sweetwater. It's going back, you know, through my friend and all that, and then he's going to do, like, a new purchase, I guess, or an exchange and send it back here. So don't, don't worry that guitar, the new guitar, hopefully it shows up, you know, safe and sound and we can do a real dedicated video on that guitar. Just wanted to adjust that. Everything's in the works and everything's going to be rectified, hopefully. But sticking with this guitar, I really don't know Aaron Marshall's style and or his specs too much. I'm going to assume 25 and a half inch scale and like maybe some kind of Schecter pickups. Looks like we have a roasted maple neck, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, roasted hard maple neck with two carbon fiber reinforcement rods, 25 and a half inch scale, thin C, jumbo, stainless steel frets, compound radius, graphic nut. Okay, cool. What are the pickups? Schecter USA Aaron Marshall solstice and equinox okay so Schecter has created some signature pickups for aaron himself i mean this guitar is pretty cool it's a pretty run-of-the-mill guitar you know nothing exactly too flamboyant or extravagant but you know i don't think aaron marshall's you know that type of player and doesn't really have that type of aesthetic so for that i think this guitar is it's fine you know what i mean it just does its thing it serves its purpose and if you're a huge intervals fan like you should love this guitar right and aesthetically, like I said, for me, it's okay. I like the white pickups with the blue and the rosa maple. It's a sharp guitar. Now, I'm really excited to talk about the new Rob Scallon guitars. So last year when I was in Chicago on tour with another band as a hired gun in the spring, give or take 11 months ago, I was able to actually meet up with Rob Scallon at the venue and we talked, we did a really nice long interview together, just more or less a hangout. And I remember him, either it was on camera or off camera, but I remember him saying there's gonna be new color variations. So to see this come to light and become a real thing, it's huge, man. I'm really, really excited and really happy for Rob. Rob, congratulations, man. If you're watching, you know, this guitar is beautiful. I love the white and the black so much more compared to the black and the brown. I said it, you know, I think I said it to Rob himself, but I definitely said it in a video last year when these, you know, the first run came out, the black and the brown. I was not really a huge fan of that aesthetic, black and brown. It's classy. It's nice, but it wasn't necessarily my favorite. I love the white and black so much more. I think white guitars pop, especially under stage lights. This guitar is sick, man. I love the subtle little details like the anchor on the pickups and stuff like that. I love how, um, using Rob's words here, kind of paraphrasing, but like there's like almost two headstocks within one with a different kind of like ergonomic like shelf or whatever you want to call that on the headstock. I think that's really sharp. Love the black hardware. I could personally do without the wood grain. I think it would look better for me personally with just plain old, um, plain, old, plain old paint and not a wood grain, but you know, it's his guitar, not mine. You know, congrats to Rob. Don't listen to me too much. Just you know, spitball in here. But regardless, man, I really sincerely love this guitar so much more compared to the first rendition, which is the black and the brown. I think the white and the black looks so much better. The contrast, as it's called, yeah, this thing's super sharp. And these pickups are Schecter Diamond 78 Special with Rob Scallon. I think it's just a 78 Special with the anchor, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think that's what's going on there if I just had the guess put two and two together. Beautiful guitar, neck through guitar, um, hip shot, you know, Rob Scallon pickups, ebony board, I'm assuming. Ebony board, mahogany neck, 24 frets, 14 inch fretboard radius, graph tech nut, swamp ash body, hip shot, etc. Yeah, really like this guitar a lot more. I think the aesthetic 
is beautiful, man. So again, congrats to Rob. Then we also have a seven and an eight string variant. Just taking a look at the eight string here. I love the multi-scale. I mean, if you're gonna have an eight string, you're gonna have to have some tension on the low strings. So like having a 25 and a half inch scale on, on an eight string just wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna assume it's a 27 to a 25 and a half. Yep, exactly. I've been doing this a while, guys. I can kind of, I could kind of figure out what the specs are just by, you know, kind of putting two and two together, kind of guessing. Love the locking tuners, love the anchor and the uh, signature on the back of the headstock. Really, really, really love the white and black contrast version of Rob Scallon's new Schecter guitar. The next guitar I want to talk about that I'm really, really excited to talk about is the John Brown Tau. Now he has a six string, a seven string, and an eight string, similar to Rob Scallon. And everybody, just let me tell you this, man. I was so lucky and fortunate enough to be able to see John play one of these guitars every single night on tour. And I will say this, like you never realize how like great some players really are, man. Like just to see him every day, just kind of just mingling around being the TM for the tour as well as, you know, playing, you know, guitar for monuments, just seeing him just on the instrument was an absolute joy. He's an amazing player and he's a great person as well. So I could not be happier for Brown and taking a look at this Azure, if I'm saying that correctly, it's like a baby blue kind of Robin's egg blue. I think I like this one more than his original one, the purple one that came out maybe a year or two ago, but I think it's because I'm incredibly biased because I was able to see this guitar every single night. Like I have a huge sentimental attachment to this guitar because I saw this guitar a lot. Um, but regardless, man, he's got great taste in colors and great taste in instruments. I love the headstock. I love everything about it, both the purple one and the blue variant. Yeah. Brown killed it with his signature guitar. His guitars come with Schecter USA Colossus and Chaos Breaker pickups, 25 and a half inch scale, jumbo stainless steel frets, 16 inch fretboard radius, a so pretty flat fretboard radius, graph tech nut, swamp ash body. Yeah, I mean, hip shots, hip shot tuners, I'm assuming. Beautiful guitar, man. Then we've also got the seven string and the eight string version. Now these, I'm assuming are baritone scale length. Yep, 27 inches, okay. So in contrast to say Rob Scallon's, Rob Scallon's are multi-scale where his, John Brown's are you know, just essentially the baritone scale length. Same thing with the eight string here as well, also 27 inches. So again, congrats to John Brown for your signature guitar, man. It was such a joy to see you play every single night. And I just look forward to watching you continue to succeed and continue to just skyrocket. And you're just an absolute amazing person and an amazing artist as well. So congrats, dude. Moving right along, we have a Justin Beck Annie, if I'm saying that correctly, from Glassjaw. Um, this guitar gives me some like heavy, heavy Fender vibes. Like that one guitar from Fender that came out a couple years ago. What was it called? It begins with an M. Medi Meteora. Yeah, God. <laughs> I almost forgot what that thing was called. This guitar kind of looks like that. I mean, this guitar, it's okay. Um, not necessarily my favorite guitar, but you know, you can't go wrong with like all natural wood. All natural wood is incredibly classy. Um, so yeah, man, it's a cool guitar. I really dig the black inlays on the actual guitar. I think that's a nice level of class and a nice little attention to detail. One thing I find interesting is the pickup selector up here, kind of like where a Les Paul would have it. That's something rare and unique for the style body because usually it's down here. I don't know if I necessarily would like that, but you know, maybe if I was to you know jam one of these and, and, and get used to playing it, I think that's cool. And I could tell by the visuals here, but just to confirm, we have the Schecter USA Apocalypse pickups. Reason why I could tell that is because the Apocalypse have like that kind of red kind of you know wiring i guess we'll say or just the red rings in there like that's a dead giveaway so the apocalypse pickups to the best of my knowledge are very very hot very very gnarly sounding so that's cool man got a new keith marrow we got a mark three artist l another really beautiful guitar got a, like a teal sea foam kind of ocean looking thing here lagoon fade as they call it yeah so i was right on my <laughs> on my description we got the longer pickups um, this is a seven string, so I'm assuming, yep, okay. Not exactly what I was assuming, but we do have a bigger scale length, 26 and a half, that's cool. Swamp Ash body again, ebony board. Neck material is crazy, nine piece, wenge, maple, purple heart with two carbon fiber reinforcement rods. So just a crazy, crazy neck, a nine piece neck. And then we also have like that brass kind of string retainer in the back as well, whatever that thing's called. All in all, man, like none of these guitars, well, maybe with the exception of the next one, none of these guitars really like i don't know man they just have a level of class all throughout them like they're just such beautiful like elegant instruments now i do want to talk on this guitar again the mgk guitar because i feel as though you know the hype and the buzz has kind of died down with this one so i feel as though we can maybe be a little mature and talk about this guitar again i said it in my initial video man like i don't see anything wrong with this guitar is it my favorite absolutely not but i knew just people would just do what they do and just hate on it just because one it's a crazy looking guitar and two it's mgk but at the same time and like 
MGK, whether you like him or not, is incredibly successful at what he does for, you know, whatever reason, however you want to, you know, think about it, regardless, the fact of the matter is, you know, he's an incredibly successful artist and musician, so he's allowed to do whatever he wants with his guitar. Schechter went for it, man. Like, they got your attention, they swung for the fences, they didn't do anything safe, they went for something crazy, and they went for it, and they made it, so, like, you know, I, I feel as though this guitar is very harmless, man, like, I feel as though it's, like, not that big of a deal. But the internet's going to internet, and it's going to, um, you know, people are going to get mad about everything, I guess we'll say. So, it is what it is, dude. It's like, to me, it's just kind of like a silly guitar, and like, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, and it's not to be taken so seriously. But, you know, like I said, the internet's going to internet. And last but not least, we have a Sullivan King Banshee 6-string and 7-string with a Floyd Rose. Now, this guitar is very Schecter. I will say that. That's not a diss or anything, but like Schecter's known for like kind of wild guitars and like wild graphics, all the above. So like it looks like we have like some some blood splatter here. We got an Apocalypse and a Sustainiac with a Floating Floyd. Like very, very Schecter, man. The rage on, on, the, on the first couple of frets there kind of reminds me of like the Mick Thompson hate, right? I love the red binding on the, on the fretboard. I think that's really cool. I actually had to look up who Solomon King was, but you know, this dude's killing it, man. He's crushing it. Congrats. He's torn, I think, with like Avenged Sevenfold or had toured with Avenged Sevenfold relatively recently. So I don't know, man. Like this guitar kind of looks like to me like one of those like, um, I don't know what they call it, like the Red Rain or whatever. Like you know, or like the green rain or the blue rain or whatever, the black rain, the white rain, you know what I'm talking about. Like, Schechter does a lot of this type of stuff, so it's not too far from the norm. But, you know, the blood splatter, it's it's uh, it's an interesting aesthetic, I will, I will be honest with you. But I think it's not that bad, man. I think it's kind of cool and, you know, it's something different. And it's, it's Sullivan King's signature guitar. So, you know, again, he's allowed to do whatever he wants, man. So congrats, dude. Just taking a look at the specs real quick. We have a maple three-piece neck. We have an ebony board. 25 and a half inch scale, 24 jumbo stainless steel frets, compound radius, 1500 series Floyd Rose, Schecter Apocalypse, and a Sustainiac. Okay, cool. So this guitar is very expensive in the grand scheme of things. One of the more expensive ones on this website right now. And um, yeah, but they threw everything at it, like Lumen Lays, Apocalypse, 1500 series Floyd Rose, Sustainiac. Like it's got all the, you know, the appointments that you would want on a spec'd out guitar. And then just taking a look at the seven string as well. Yeah, pushing two grand right here. So again, very expensive, but I mean, it's kind of a unique and kind of a wild looking guitar. So that's everything that Schecter has to offer here at the beginning of 2024. I find this lineup very interesting. No, so far, no production model guitars, all signature guitars. And I feel as though Schecter's kind of doing something different, which a lot of brands are doing anymore. It's just rolling out guitars as they want to. Like they're not just throwing everything out at the beginning of the year. That kind of fat has gone away, um, you know, in the last four years, give or take. So with that being said, I love the Rob Scallon and I love the John Brown. You guys know that I've said that a million times in this video. Really happy for those dudes. They, they deserve it. And uh, you know, that's an understatement that they deserve it. They're absolute masters of the craft. And it's, uh, it's a joy to see them succeed. So with that being said, everybody, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. What do you guys think of my thoughts and opinions? And I'd love to hear from you guys down below in the comments. What do you guys think of these Schecter guitars? All right, so be sure to like this video, follow me on Spotify, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much in advance one more time. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.